What's going on everybody? Sean from The Wind Condition here, here to open up all five different colleges from the new set Strixhaven. Pre-release kits, five of them to be exact, so why not get on into it without further ado. Let's start with Silver Quill. All right, so honestly, I have not spent too much time going over the lore of this. I usually do dig the lore. Maybe I'll get into it a little bit later, but I mean, obviously it's magic, right? So it's going to be cool. So what do we have here? We have a Torrent Sculptor. Can you get in focus there? It's a wizard with Ward 2. When it enters the battlefield, exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, put a number of 1-1 counters on it. Equal to half that card's mana cost rounded up. Okay. And you flip it, it's a sorcery. Hold on. Hold on. I swear we're going to go faster after the first one. It just gets easier. All right. And on the flip side, we have Flamethrower Sonata. Discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard an instant or sorcery card this way, it deals that damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Interesting. Okay. Well, it is a promo foil double face card, so we're going to perfect fit that bad boy up right there. Slide them on over here, and now let's get to the good stuff. We've got our, our dice. We've got our promo pack. We've got our five other packs. All right, so we're good to go. Let's dive into this promo pack here first. I always like pre-release events. I think they're the most fun in terms of um, limited events that you can do. Uh, tenured Ink Caster, Fracture, Dueling Coach, Vanishing Verse, Exile Target, Mono, 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 Colored Permanent. It's an instant for black and white. That's a neato card right there. Very, very, very versatile. We get a spirit, a pest, and a token. So let's go ahead and put that guy right there. Those there. The rest will slide off to the side. Not bad. Don't know much about pricing or any of that stuff right now. We're just cracking packs, having a good time. Get through all this stuff. I am kind of excited about those. Uh, oh, man. I forget what they're called, the uh, different art cards. Practical Research, Stormkin, Witherbloom Apprentice, Exponential Growth. Till end of turn, double target creatures, power X times. That is spicy. Especially in green decks when you can pump out all that mana. Revitalize, you gain three life, draw a card. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet art. I do like, oh, Sliver Quill Campus. Enters the battlefield tapped, add a black, no, tap four, scroll. Okay. All right. They're giving their, uh, they're giving their lands a little more utility. That's kind of exciting. Uh, okay, put that over there. Next one. You always get the tap lands that either give you a, a life or, you know, just come in tapped and they're just real exciting. That's kind of cool that you can use it to scry later in the game. It gives it a little more. A more versatility. Thunderous Orator, Bookworm, Reconstruct History, and another Torrent Sculptor. That was, in fact, our promo. Regrowth. Oh, definitely, definitely a card we run in uh, EDH. Commander, whatever you want to call it. Um, sweet, 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 sweet. All right, so we got that. We'll put the uncommons there. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be building a blue deck. <laughs> Ward is definitely a much needed evergreen mechanic. I kind of like it. Um, sorry, it's probably not evergreen, but make it evergreen. It makes sense. Let's hold them up here for now so you can see them a little bit better. If the focus. There we go. Igneous Inspiration. Push. No, Plum the Forbidden. Another Fracture. A Dream Strix flying. When Dream Strix becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. When Dream Strix dies, learn. Okay. Nice. Sweet little picture right there. Shock. Yes. Staply staple. In the crazy art. Love it. Wormhole Serpent. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. Okay. I see you. 
I see you, wormhole. Wormhole serpent. It's a worm serpent. Kind of like Yorian the bird serpent. Get rid of these here. Okay. Let's go with Academic Dispute. Keen Dorius, field historian, tenured ink caster, venerable war singer. Vigilance Trample. Whenever venerable war singer deals combat damage to a player, you may return target creature card with value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, or X is the amount of damage dealt to that player. So you can return a three cost for this guy because he's a three three. That's pretty sweet. Strategic planning. Sweet art. Sweet art. I think I'm gonna be saying that about a lot of these uh, a lot of these cards. Mystical archives, that's it. Mystical archives. Okay, I had to get it right. Because we're professional. <laughs> Semi professional. I like how half the commons are going over here and half the commons are going right here. Uh, Lorehold excavation, mascot interception, Killian ink duelist, baleful mystery. You may pay. Oh, it's one of those you may pay cards. This is rough. This is rough. Exile, target creature, or planeswalker. I mean, you want to cast this for four. You really do. You don't want your opponents to draw a card. That's kind of kind of crazy. Hey, 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 look at that art. Look at that art. Faithless looting. Nice. Another another nice staple staple there. Good stuff. I think I'm going to find that out about a lot of these uh, mystical archive cards because they usually just put the staple cards in there, right? Right? Oh, the scissors. Scissors, you didn't do me justice that time. Okay, so that was the Silver Quill pack. We are going to Prismari next. Very exciting. Got our other dice. Hallelujah. And Academic Probation. Choose one. Choose a non-land card name. Opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name until your next turn. Choose target non-land permanent until your next turn. It can't attack block. Activated abilities can't be activated. Kind of a hoser, right? It's a lesson, so you can fetch that out of your sideboard with a learn card. Not bad. Not bad. We'll, uh, we'll sleeve that one up later. Get to the get to the other stuff. All right. The seeded pack. Here we go. Come on, come on. Please, Mari. We want to see what you got for me. Okay. Grinning Ignis. Wait. Return Grinning Ignis to owner's hand. Add activate as a sorcery. That's a that's a reprint. Nice. Explosive welcome. Divide by zero. Galazeth Prismari, one of them Elder Dragons. And there's Battlefield Create a Treasure Token. Artifacts you control have tap, add one mana of any color, spend this mana only to cast an instant or sorcery spell. Pretty sweet. Four drop for three, four flying. And you create a treasure token. That's already pretty, uh, pretty value right there. Okay, so it's a little out of order, so we got something interesting going on here. Oh, this is the seated. <laughs> Durr. Okay. All right, Sean, come on. Let's get it together here. We're doing a, we're doing a pre-release kit box opening video. You just got to keep focusing on getting to that good stuff. There we go. All right. Move past these. Let's put them right on top of the uncommons. I'm all over the place, everybody. I can't even tell what I'm doing right now. It's early in the morning. I barely had any coffee, so trying to get some content out here. Killian Ink Duelist. Plum the Forbidden, Lorehold Excavation, and Fervent Mastery. Another you may pay. Four rather than pay its costing cost. If it was paid, an opponent discards any number of cards and draws that many cards. That's pretty pretty brutal. Search your library for up to three cards. Put them in your hand, shuffle, then discard three cards at random. Mega gamble. But worse. Because it costs a whole lot more. And it could get even worse. Crux of food. I remember how bad I wanted this in foil in the original set. Uh, Ugin's getting down against Bolas right here. Wow. Wow. This art is something else. I am pretty, pretty stoked on that. I don't like the side loaders usually, but I do recycle my perfect fit sometimes. So awesome. Crux of Fizzate as a mystical archive. I'm down. I'm down for it. All right, I'm slowly and slowly getting more and more hyped about this. Here we go. 
Whoa, whoa, we got a lesson. That's right. Illuminate history. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Then if there are seven more cards in your graveyard, create a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token. Nice. Nice. With the learnage. Uh, secret rendezvous, hall monitor, quandrix cultivator, and the biblioplex. The biblioteca. Tap add a colorless. Look at the top card of your library. If it's an instant sorcery card, you may reveal it and put the card in your hand. If you don't put the card into your hand, you may put it into your graveyard. Activate this only if you have exactly zero or seven cards in your hand. Pretty limiting, but interesting. Divine Gambit. Exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment and opponent controls. That player may put a permanent card from their hand on the battlefield. I think I just learned that it's legal and standard because it's an uncommon, maybe? Question mark? Anyway, cool. Cool stuff. There's a lot of these mystical archive cards. I know they're comparing them, you know, well, masterpieces were the original, and obviously these being much more prevalent, but I love the fact that they're staple cards that everybody wants. You get one in each pack. Just feels better, in my opinion. Mercurial Transformation. Dina. Soul Sleeper. Is she the one on the cover of the little Wither Bloom thing? I think. Necrotic Fumes. Culmination of studies. Blue, red, X. Exile top X cards of your library. For each land card exiled this way, create a treasure token. For each blue card exiled this way, draw a card. For each red card exiled this way, culmination of studies deals one damage to each opponent. I really need to get myself back into a uh, Is It Commander deck. And Duress. Ooh. That. Dude. That does look pretty sick. I like that a lot. Target opponent reveals their amazingly bad hand. And we discard an amazingly bad card from them. All right. Soldiering forth. Here we go. Okay. Wormhole Serpent. Got that foil earlier. Fortifying Drought. Draft? Drought? Drought? Yeah. Spell Satchel. Hall of Oracles. Tap out a colorless, add one man of any color, put a plus one plus one counter on a creature, activate only as a sorcery, and only if you cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. Pretty limiting. Again, Defiant Strike. Target creature gets plus one plus zero in a turn, draw a card. Sweet. Feather, where are you at? Feather, come back to standard. We, we barely missed you. There we go. Expressive Iteration. Stonebinders Familiar. Damagoth Woe Eater. Holy cow, that's a four drop, seven, six. Sacrificey, sacrificey. Hoffrey, Ghost Forge. Spirits you control get plus one, plus one, and have Trample and Haste. Whenever another non token creature you control dies, exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of the creature, except it's a spirit in addition to other types. And it has, when this creature leaves the battlefield, return an exiled card to your graveyard. And a Growth Spiral. Holla! Holla that growth spiral, spectral of the fen, specter of the fens and opposed. All right, next one. Thank you, Prismari. Now we are moving on to Quandrix. Not gonna say it. Not gonna say the uh, the equivalent from the past. We got a three, just like the three dice that we have. Sweet. Radiant Scroll Wielder. Instant and sorcery spells you control have lifelink. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard. You may cast it this turn. If you cast it this way, put it in the graveyard, exile it instead. And whatnot. Awesome. All right. Seated pack time. Quandrix, Quandrix, what are you? Quandrix, Quandrix. Give me good stuff. All right. Master Symmetrist, Carrick Wrangler, Decisive Denial, and Teachings of the Archaics. Sorcery Learn. If an opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. Draw three cards instead if an opponent has at least four cards in more hand than you. Sure. Okay. Card draw with uh, some specifications. Remembered it was a seated pack that time, so I'm not all freaked out by the uh, difference in layout there. All right. Here we go, Quandrix. Here we go. Come on now. Come on now. What we got? We got Decisive Denial. We got Dina Soul Steeper. She's showing up a lot. And my commons pile is having a fit right now. Okay. 
divide by zero, and Silver Quill Silencer. As Silver Quill Silencer enters the battlefield, choose a non-land card name. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with the chosen name, they lose three life, and you draw a card. That's pretty sweet. I mean, like, Commander, you just name their Commander, right? That's cool. Mizix's Mastery. Wow! The Mythic Mystical Archives are in effect. Very nice. And a Decisive Denial Foily. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Excelente. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. Mystical archive goodness. Get out of here. Off my finger. Okay. Coming, 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 coming. We got Tenured Ink Caster, Academic Dispute, Prismari Apprentice, and the Biblioplex again, apparently, since it's not a legendary land. And Thrill of Possibility. Cool. Apparently, since it's not a legendary land, there are multiple biblioplexi around the uh, El Colegio. So, I guess since they're math, uh, you can double it and get away with it because it's Quandrix ish. Lore Hold Excavation, Necrotic Fumes, Stonebinders Familiar, and Radiant Scroll Wielder, the promo. Look familiar to anybody? Sweet. Sign in blood. Yet another staple card. Look at that. You can see his little blood dripping in there. It's kind of bloody. Again, sweet art. Square up. Target creature has base power and toughness 4-4 four, four, till end of turn for two mana. Sweet. Continuing on through the madness. Here we go. Here we go. Putting y'all over there. Overgrown Arch, Thunderous Orator, Kinorius Field Historian, Augmenter Pugilist, Troll Druid, Trample, as long as you control eight or more lands, it gets plus five, plus five. Sounds like you'd want to put that in the World Tree also. It is a DFC, so we're going to flip it over and see Echoing Equation. Choose target creature you control each other. Creature you control becomes a copy of the target to turn, except those creatures aren't legendary if the chosen creature is legendary. That's kind of cool. And a cultivate. And a cultivate. That is legal in standard. There we go. There we go. All right. Last Quandrix here. Coming, 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 coming. Then we get to Tend the Pests. Umbral Juke. Ether Helix. Retriever Phoenix. Flying Haste. Whenever Retriever Phoenix enters the battlefield, if you cast it, learn. As long as Retriever Phoenix is in your graveyard, if you would learn, you may instead return Retriever Phoenix to the battlefield for four mana. 2-2. Two, two. Electrolyze. You don't realize the Electrolyze until it's too late. All right, so that was Quandrix. Why don't we move on to Vitherbloom. Come on, Vitherbloom. Let's see here. Uh, how many dice we got? 10, yes. Probably not. Oh, wow. Look at that little thing there. Are these symbols different? They are. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's set these up here so you can see the different schools. All right, I don't even know which one's which, but that's okay. Mavina, Student's Advocate. Fine. For three mana, you get a 2-3 Bird Advisor. Zero. You may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If that spell doesn't target a creature you control, it costs eight more to cast this way. If that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Activate only once each turn. White instant and sorcery spell recursion out your graveyard. That's a hoot. I mean, we've seen white bring things back from the graveyard like permanents and stuff, but instants and sorceries? That's a, that's a new one. That's a new one. Look at me, repeating myself like a real YouTuber. Come on, get out of here. We've got more interesting things to say than repeating ourselves. Necro do we? Necrotic Fumes, Honor Troll, Emergent Sequence, and Callous Blood Mage. When Callous Blood Mage enters the battlefield, choose one, create a 1-1. One, one. Black and green pest creature token, the life thing. You draw a card, lose a life, exile target player's graveyard. For three mana, a 2-1 Vampire Warlock. Interesting. And we've got our fractal creature token inkling and that card. Okay. 
Okay, let's dive into Witherbloom. And look, there she is. See, she's probably going to show up about 60 more times because we have <laughs> 60 more packs. Or you just open one that's all her. Um, it's like the God pack, but with that card. Um, Zephyr Boots, Emergent Sequence, Lorehold Apprentice, and Archmage Emeritus. Magecraft, whenever you cast an instant, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, draw a card. That's solid. That's ridiculously solid. And another Divine Gambit. There we go. And then a Luca Emblem. Maybe that's uh, foretelling what we will open in future packs. You know, we can only hope. And here we go. Aether Helix, Master Symmetrist, Reduced to Memory, and a Manifestation Sage. 2-2, two, two. when it enters the battlefield, create a 0-0. Zero, zero. Green and blue, fractal for each token, put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Noise. Another regrowth. Okay. Okay. Trade bait. Letter of acceptance. Letter of acceptance. There we go. All right. Next. Moving right along, we have dun, 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 Snow Day. Untap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap. Snow Day. Should have been a snow instant, but we're not in that set anymore. And Selfless Glyph Weaver. Exile Selfless Glyph Weaver. Creatures you control gain indestructible till end of turn. It's a three drop. We've had this at the, well, two drop, I guess, with... Uh, no, wait, this is all your creatures get indestructible. That's kind of cool. Other ones we're just targeting. An opt. I'm down. Down with the opt. And the flip is deadly vanity. Choose a creature or planeswalker, then destroy all other creatures and planeswalkers. For eight mana, you get to keep one thing and blow everything else up. That one thing better be good. Better win you the game. Otherwise, you just hit the reset button. Buddy. Oh, I guess you got lands. So, not completely, unless you blow up the lands, too. Don't tell anybody I said that. Ten the pests. Solve the equation. Clever. Ooh, there we go. I definitely wanted one of those guys. Or girls. Or whatever. Clever Lumimancer and Draconic Intervention. There's an additional cost to cast it. Exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Draconic Intervention deals X damage to each non-dragon creature, where X is the exiled card mana value. If the creature dealt damage this way would die this turn. Exile it instead. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Dragons. Another Faithless Looting. And a Foil Plarg. Dean of Chaos. Hang on, I want to read this guy. For one and a red, you get a 2-2 Orc Shaman. Discard a card, draw a card. Four, red, tap. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-legendary, non-land card with mana value three or less. You may cast the card without paying its mana cost, but the revealed cards did not cast this way in the bottom of your library in a random order. And he flips into Augusta, Dean of Order. Other tap creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Other untapped creatures you control get plus zero plus one. Whenever you attack, untap each creature you control, then tap any number of creatures you control. So you get to kind of control the uh, the flow of the pluses there. That's pretty sweet. It's a foil DFC. We'll protect you. Come here. Come here. Get get in here. We gotta take. We gotta make sure that you're good to go. All right. Next and last pack of. Witherbloom. Here we go. Coming, 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 coming. Now we got... Oh! Confront the Past. It's a rare lesson. Choose one. Return target planes. Arc a card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Remove twice X loyalty counters from target planeswalker and opponent controls. Snap. Ether Snap. Get it? Shade Wing Laureate. For a crazy, confusing mana cost. Flying. When another creature can control, flying dies. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Sure. Share the love. Pass it around. Symmetry Sage. Flying in Magecraft. Spell Satchel. And another Galzeth Prismari. Out the Witherbloom box, yo. And a Village Rites. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay. We got the last pre-release pack right here. Why don't we... Uh, oop, bump the microphone there. Let's see, okay, last dice, three, and there's the symbol. Awesome, some of these might be upside down. Actually, I think they are, because the triangle usually faces the same direction. There you go. 
All right, then we get a Blade Historian. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. Simple, sweet, effective. Hybrid mana cost. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get through this seated pack. Thanks, everybody, for watching if you made it this far. Really appreciate it. And uh, I am getting more excited about this set the more I see it. To be honest, I really wasn't too excited at the very beginning, but then I kind of saw the art for these Mystical Archives and read some more of these cards. It's a good set. I like it. Return Past Collar, Mascot Interception, Lore Hold Apprentice, and a third Radiant Scroll Wielder. We're definitely wielding all the scrolls here. Okay. And your little token -y tokens there. All right. Let's see what this last one. I didn't even. Is this Lore Hold? This is Lore Hold. Saving the best for last. Here we go. Oh, I opened the seated pack. I should have known. Common, 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 common. Okay. Secret Rendezvous. You and target opponent each draw three cards. Yeah, what is up with this? What is up? White? Come on. Come on. Hall Monitor, Quandrix Cultivator, and a Gnarled Professor. 5-4 Trample. When it enters the battlefield, learn. Tree Folk Druid. Boom. Compulsive Research. Target player draw three cards, and the player discards two cards, unless they discard a land. Okay. All right. I dig it. Gnarled <laughs> Professor. You got a tree for your instructor. Please report to the foot of the tree for your first lesson. Dagmoth Woe Eater. Explosive Welcome. Expressive Iteration. And Valentin Dean of the Vein. A Vampire Warlock. 1-1 one, one, Menace Life Link. If a non-token creature and opponent controls would die, exile it instead. When you do, you may pay two. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one Black and Green Pest Creature token with... When this creature dies, you gain one life and it flips. There's an adventurous impulse underneath to Lisette, Dean of the Root. Two green green for a 4-4 four, four human druid. Whenever this, whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. And those creatures gain trample until end of turn. Nice. Very... Oh, and foil Skurid Colony. Skurid. The U is soft as it's followed by two consonants. Grammar police, everybody. Pronunciation police. Wormhole serpent, fortifying drought, spell satchel, and auric lore mage. Human warlock, warlocks in full effect. 3-3, three, three, tap, search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle it. If it's an instant or sorcery card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on auric lore mage. Tutor up to the graveyard? For real? For real, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. I'm down. Another opt. Cool. Very cool. I did not know that there was a tutor for the graveyard in this set. That's pretty sweet. All right. Get past them commons. Mercurial transformation. Decisive denial. Dina Soul Steeper. There you are. You finally showed up again. And a blade historian. All our creatures are getting double strike. And they're all attacking. And a mana tithe. Say what you will about Mana Tithe, but when you get somebody with it, oh, it feels good. It feels really good. And especially when they go like, is that a white card? What, white has counter magic? Yeah, black has counter magic too. You just gotta pay life to, to, to counter the counter. Golden ratio. Whoa, I love it. Where's uh, Pythagorean, where's his uh, Pythagoras and his rectangle? Karak Wrangler. Or is Star, I'm sorry. Shadewing Laureate and Jadzi Oracle of Arcavios. This is a legendary creature, human wizard. Discard a card, return it to its owner's hand. Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's an online card, you may cast it by paying one rather than paying its mana cost. If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. This could, oh, it's green. I was going to say this could go in my Krark Thrasios. Oh, it can go in Krark Thrasios because it is green too. And a Cultivate. Journey to the Oracle. Four mana gets you. You may put any number of land cards from your hand on the battlefield. Then if you control eight or more lands, you may discard a card. If you do, return Journey to the Oracle to its owner's hand. That's a lot of land. That is a lot of land. And a Cultivate. Well, there you go. If you made it this far, then we opened up five pre-release kits and got a bunch of cool stuff. I'm very excited. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's this? 
What's this over here? Is this prize support provided by the LGS? Oh my gosh, look at that. So, as you may know, when you go to a pre-release, you get prizes based off how you do. And the local game store that I bought my pre-release kits from gives prize support too. So, we have some extra packs to open. Ha! <laughs> so, when you thought this video was over, just kidding. Hopefully, we get some interesting stuff here. So, this is this is like bonus content, okay? We're going, oh, these... These cards feel different. They feel slightly glidier, if that's a word. Like they slide a little bit easier than the ones that came out of the pre-release kits. Huh, interesting. All right, solve the equation, decisive denial, golden ratio, and shine, shadow, snarl. Okay, yeah, these lands are okay. They're okay. I'll give them the okay nod. Stormkin artist foil. Gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control, and it has Magecraft. I, uh, that's, that's kind of anti-synergistic, right? You're talking about instants and sorceries and artifacts all in the same card. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you'll find out how to work it properly. Definitely Glidier. This is weird. This feels interesting. Another clever Lumomancer. Like it. Karok Wrangler, Spell Satchel, and Callous Blood Mage. I think we opened one of those already. And another Strategic Planning. And a Resculpt. Turn target artifact creature to... Uh, okay. Sweet. Good deal. Alright. The bonus content continues. Have not opened a Planeswalker yet, but, you know, there will be a time for singles later. It's time for hype right now. Start from scratch, snow day, master symmetrist, and a culmination of studies. Exile the top X cards of your library for each land card exiled this way. Create a treasure token for each blue card exiled this way. Draw a card. We already pulled one of these. I think I've already read this one before. And it deals damage equal to the, each opponent. Yep, yep. And thrill of possibilities. Right on. Right on, right on. Do, 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 do. Common, common, common. Here we go. All right. Hall Monitor, Fracture, Ether Helix, Velamachus Lorehold. Okay, we got another legendary creature, Elder Dragon. Flying Vigilance Haste, 5-5. Five, five. Whenever it attacks, look at the top seven cards of your library. You may cast an instant or sorcery spell with mana value less than or equal to Velamachus Lorehold's power from among them without paying its mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And a negate. Ooh, that's spicy. That is nice. I've not seen any uh, foil mystical archives yet, but I'm assuming they're much more prevalent in the uh, collector boosters that will be available next weekend. So, let's see how we do here. Mascot Interception, Silver Quill Apprentice, Tend the Pests, and an Archmage Emeritus. Another good one. Another good one. God's Willing. Target creature you control gains protection. From the chosen color until end of turn, basically. Kind of cool. I was running that with uh, Pain Seer <laughs> when that was legal and standard. I'm like, I am going to make him untap. Dang it. Attack, protect, untap, draw a card, lose life. So much work. All right. Then we get Brackish Trudge, Detention Vortex. Okay. Interesting. One white, enchant non online permanent. Can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Tap three, destroy a detection vortex. Only your opponents may activate it, and only as a sorcery. That is actually pretty sweet. So if you need to get through, plug them once. All your creatures have double strike. Boom. All kinds of fun times. Divide by zero, and devastating mastery. So six mana, or you could pay four. If you paid four, an opponent chooses up to two non-land permanents they own and returns them to the owner's hand. Destroy all non-land permanents. Okay. Interesting. Whirlwind Denial. For each spell and ability your opponents control, counter it unless its controller pays four. All right. And an excavated wall. So back to this devastating mastery. You cast it for four. They pick up two of their best cards and you destroy all your cards. Golly, it just seems like you're trying to get a Hail Mary out of the alternate casting cost, but you pay for it. You pay big time. Big time! 
Um, all in the wet DMCA, sorry. Overgrown Arch, Necrotic Fumes, Zimon, Quandrix, Prodigy, and Ifrit, Flame Painter. Four mana for a double strike, one four. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So that's what you put into your graveyard, exile instead. An agonizing remorse. A little discard for you. At this slow, low, low cost of two mana. Well, there we go. Bonus content, including everything else. We've got some pretty sweet cards. I can't wait to start brewing. I'm a big commander brewer, but maybe next week if we get some more boxes, more cards we will build some standard. But until then, stuff's looking pretty cool. Thank you very much for watching. And um, just a heads up, if you made it this far, thank you so, so very much for watching. And we are hopefully gonna be producing some more episodes of the Wind Condition Podcast. Um, some things have happened, changes in life. We'll go over it in the show. But anyway, thank you so much again for watching. and. We will see you next.